my dear friend, it's so great to see you in Spain after Germany, after Mexico, after uh, so many places. So how do you like Mallorca blockchain days? It's not the first time for you, right? No, it's the second time. I was here okay. two years ago. I really liked it. I like this very like cozy mm -hmm. familiar in, uh, atmosphere. Um, yeah. yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, there were some talks I didn't understand. They were just too technical, <laughs> technical for my simple exactly, mind. Yeah, yes, yes. they kind of they kind of mix it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like um, I would. Ex I think I would. Ex I would put more like the technical talks in one part yeah. and the more economic talks in the other, so people yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, what but that's. What? Uh, yeah, well, I I, like it. it's probably not for people who doesn't know anything about Bitcoin no, or blockchain. It's, it's for already kind of like no, knowledgeable crowd, let's it's say. True, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love your jacket. Can you show oh, us yeah, the honey badger course, jacket? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? No. <laughs> yeah, it was painted by my daughter yeah. when she was really? 17. Really? Yeah, I already have it quite a while. <laughs> so you educate your daughter about Bitcoin and blockchain I and everything? I gave her Bitcoin, one Bitcoin as a birthday present when she was 13. Lovely. And that was like 70 euros back okay. then. So now she is a bit richer. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you're always talking about NFTs and stuff. Tell us a little bit more. What are you working on right now related to NFTs and crypto art and all of that? I manage a young, uh, very talented artist called Max Cryptohead. Yes, I've heard He's of He's doing mm -hmm. uh, portraits of crypto pioneers. Mm -hmm. And now we are, uh, so far there are 12 of those, yeah. like Satoshi Nakamoto, Nick Sabo, yeah. Diego was the last one, yeah? Yeah, and he, mm -hmm. was, he was inducted in, in the, at the conference in Miami. Yeah. Because now we call it the Crypto Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And we have a neutral selective committee, mostly uh, consisting of journalists. Mm -hmm. And they now make the decisions who will be inducted okay. and who will be painted by Max Crypto. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've just started a, a gallery, which is mostly online, also in the 3D space, mm -hmm. but we also have like real life events. Oh, nice. And we will start most likely in Miami at the Art Basel. Mm -hmm. And then we have a tour in different cities, New York, Mexico City, yeah. maybe Barcelona, who knows, <laughs> uh, with the topic crypto culture, yeah. which means like all these to the moon, honey badger, hodl, mm -hmm. all these funny like, yeah. little insider slangs and, and Lambo yeah, yeah. <laughs> that we all know, but the, the rest of the world, they think, what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. So maybe we might even like publish a catalog, a book uh, with it, because I think Like a dictionary a of uh, crypto slang. Kind of kind a glossary, of thing, but yeah. of course also with the pictures, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, with the images. So mm -hmm. the art is a vehicle for people to, to relate okay. to these, these funny culture that we take for granted, but it's like, it's a new young <laughs> culture. And the crypto art is reflecting that culture. And that's Absolutely. what I like about it. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's also a lot of bad crypto art. So our job as a gallery yeah. is to select the good ones. Mm -hmm. So there will be, of course, some artworks by Max Cryptohead, but also others, the Nora Delphine. We have oh, uh, Hodel by Crypto Graffiti. Mm -hmm. We will mix some like classics, like, like famous crypto artworks, but also new ones. And people can still... Um, submit artworks to that and we then we select the ones that we like the best and mm -hmm. then we have that tour to in several cities but all the time online so okay. that's one of the things we do so you have 12 crypto heads right now is there an idea who is going to be number 13 or you're choosing between a couple of people uh, well, everybody can make suggestions mm -hmm. so you can go to the websites 21 yeah. heads and say i want i don't know Michael Dupre to be uh, conducted, uh -huh. but then we don't decide, but this is round of, I think, uh, seven, or maybe we have nine people in the future, and they will decide. So for instance, I mean, Diego is a good friend of mine, yeah? and I yeah. like the fact that he was, but I've never expected that, because there were like Eric Foreys yeah. and Charlie Schramm, and uh, uh, a Ralph big legend. Merkel. Yes. So it was kind of a surprise mm -hmm. that the selective committee, uh, well, I think he totally deserves it, yeah, for all the work in Latin America and, and yeah. RSK. RSK is contract. huge, so yeah. But still, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a surprise that, mm -hmm. uh, that an Argentinian has, yeah. has been. So I, I have no idea who will be, who will be next. <laughs> okay. I know that we will have the con induction ceremony, the next one in El Salvador. Because uh -huh. there will be the Latin American Bitcoin conference. Yes, I can't is, wait. Uh, I'm coming and you're you coming. Yeah. Of course yeah, we're yeah, well, coming. I've, I've been to all of those. <laughs> yes. I'm an I'm a, a MC there mm -hmm. and we have the next induction ceremony. No. And then well, we'll see. That will yeah. be number 13. And there will, can be only, of course, 21. It's yes, 21 heads. That's yes, very important. Like 21 million Better Bitcoins. Limited, yeah, obviously. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> obviously yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you're using some virtual spaces also to... Um, to, to show the gallery, right? You're using Decentraland or Somnium we Space? Did, or we did an exhibition in, in Decentraland mm -hmm. uh, back in October or so. Uh, but now we have a, a very simple software, which you don't need to download anything. You don't need 
It works. You mm -hmm. Just go in, in your browser to the address, and you can navigate around the 3D space. Awesome, it's yeah. a by a Berlin company, Kunstmatrix, and we just have an account there. It's very simple. Everyone can do it. Yeah. So it's more the content. But I think the experience, the user experience, is very good. You can mm -hmm. use it for, with your mobile phone, you know, with Decentraland, yeah. my laptop yeah, always crashed. Yeah, you need a VR and yeah, better. We, we did all these things yeah. and it's nice, but it's a quite yeah. a big obstacle for people to, I mean, they have to have the, the headsets and all yeah, that. Yeah, maybe the technology is still not that far in the, into VR. Yeah, but we want to be, have it, keep it simple VR, yeah. and, and accessible for everybody. Mm -hmm. So we just need your web browser, mm -hmm. you go in, no extra plugins, yeah. nothing to download, and that's Perfect. what I like. You wrote a lot of books about Bitcoin. Are you planning to write the next book or? Well, this art book is something that okay. I, I like. I mean, I had that idea for quite a while, but now with this, uh, this exhibition about crypto mm -hmm. culture, it's not just any book about crypto because I mean, there's so many things going on. Yeah. But now it's a kind of a mix. It will be a book with, well, hopefully, yeah, I'm still mm -hmm. working on it, but the <laughs> idea is to have a book full of uh, 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 full color pictures. Yeah. which is expensive, <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> but it's an art, art book, yeah, it has to have yeah. lots of images in it. And then some text which explain what these images are mm -hmm. about. So it's kind of a book for beginners who yeah. have no clue about crypto, but mostly it's an art book. That's when, when is it expected to come out? Well, hopefully together with the, with the exhibition, which was mm -hmm. supposed to start at Art Basel Miami. But okay, it's, it's, at the moment it's all plans. Yeah? Okay. I hope it will work out. <laughs> the exhibition for sure, mm -hmm. the book we'll see. I mean, books are... Yeah. Usually a lot of work, and especially mm. if it's like full color print, it's yeah. expensive. We'll, we'll see how we do it, but that would be my next wish. Yeah, or maybe that. in the book you just put experiences like QR codes, like simple, and then people scan it and they, they see art in the um, AR, VR, whatever. Well, I think it, you need to see it at once with, uh, as a still, but most of the uh, artworks also exist as animations. So yeah. that's a good idea to have the still version in the book and then a QR code and you go exactly. to a website and see, <laughs> exactly. see it fully animated. Well, yeah. I'm super, super excited. Really nice to talk to you. Great. And Thank I'll you see much. you soon in the next conference.